Now to more on that hero dog that helped take down the leader of ISIS. Part of an elite group of canines trained in secret from a very young age to complete dangerous tasks that only can be done by man's best friend. Stephanie Ramos is here with more. Good morning, Stephanie. Michael, good morning. There are nearly 2,000 dogs on assignment with service members from every branch of the military. Some of those dogs in special operations units working to complete some very dangerous missions. The Delta Force team on a top secret mission in Syria to find the world's most wanted terrorist had this dog by their side, a Belgian Malinois. We don't know its identity. We're not releasing the name of the dog right now. But we do know it is special and being called a hero in the military operation that ended in the death of ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. The military working dog. Uh, performed a, a tremendous service as they all do in, in a variety of situations. The president tweeting this picture Monday. White House officials tell ABC News the dog will likely get an official invite to visit the White House. A dog, a beautiful dog, a talented dog. We had nobody even hurt. And that's why the dog was so great. Military working dogs with special operation units are capable of doing more than the average military working dog. These are dogs that parachute out of military aircraft, many of them equipped with goggles, infrared mounted live cameras, waterproof body gear that can be resistant to bullets, shrapnel and knife attacks. And the dog used in Sunday's raid isn't the first Belgian Malinois to take part in a large scale terrorist operation. In 2011, Cairo, the same breed, worked with the Navy's SEAL Team 6 to find and kill Al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden. His service immortalized on the silver screen in the film Zero Dark Thirty. These military working dogs proving to be more than just man's best friend. And while the Pentagon says the canine commando from this past weekend's raid was slightly injured by the blast, the dog is back at work in the region with its handler. But this dog so smart. And, and usually these dogs are seen as force multipliers because their senses are, are much more sensitive than a human's. So yeah, smart. Yeah. You said it. Really okay. amazing. Thanks, Stephanie. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.